Well, it's um, obvious that we're here today because it's PAC's annual fundraising luncheon. And one thing that many of you may not know is that this is PAC's only fundraising event of the year. And it's really important because it provides the funds for PAC that it wouldn't get from the other sources that its money comes from that are designated for its work. But this money is so vital, as Dave has told me, um, it's really what makes PAC operate able to operate all year long. So every, every year we build the, um, the PAC luncheon around two honorees, and we're so grateful to those honorees, and we're so proud of them because it's because of them that many of you come out. And we're going to take just a moment and name some of the past honorees because we're so grateful to everyone who has been an honoree over the years. So again, as is in keeping with this luncheon, please hold your applause. Um, Bob Brownstein, Al and Carmen Castellano, Judy Chirco, Art DeGius, Ray Espinoza, Fred Farrar, Judy, Judy Chirco's name is twice, Judy. <laughs> um, Mary Ellen and Mike Fox, Susan Hammer, Reed Hastings, Peter Hero, Ronnie Lott, Ann McEntee and her husband Jim, who's no longer with us, Michael Farrell, Susan Packardor, Karen Rudolph, Bob Sillen, Glenn Tony. John York and his wife Denise, Steve Wesley, Kathy Wheeler, and Charmaine and Dan Warmanhoven. So Carl and Kathleen, you're joining a very prestigious group of people, and we're so pleased that you're both lending your names to PAC this year. We really appreciate it. And um, now we're going to have a very... Oh, okay. And we're doing something else different this year. For the very first time, we're actually naming um, one of our awards. And we're naming the award after somebody who was so dedicated to PACT for so many years. And he was such a wonderful community builder in his, in his own way. Many of you knew him. Some of you didn't. Um, his name is Mike Hackworth. And he, we lost him this year. He passed away. And we're naming um, one of our awards that will go on having this name forever, the Hackworth Leadership Award. And we'd like to thank Mike's wife who came today, Joan Hackworth, and his daughters, Lauren Peterson and Julie Hackworth, who traveled all the way from the East Coast to be with us, to be here today for this special tribute. Lauren and Julie and Joan, could you stand so that people could see you? We thank you for sharing your incredible husband and father with PACT and with all of us. And now Mike Fox Sr., whom we all know, will share a little bit about our beloved friend, Mike Hackworth. Great to put the, great to put the lights in my eyes. The, um, a wolf and a fox in the same program. The, um, I entitle uh, my remarks the Hackworth Dome. Many people equate Mike Hackworth with the uh, Hackworth Dome at the Tech Museum of Innovation. The Hackworth Dome is just an outward manifestation of Mike's generosity and interest in technology and the community. Mike was the flesh and blood and fabric of this community expressed in so many tasteful and loving and elegant ways. His contributions, along with his wife Joan, were legendary. Their contributions were many, some heralded and some only known to Mike and Joan. Their generosity extended to wherever there was a need that they perceived meaningful. Mike and Joan provided leadership roles to so many organizations, the ballet, the symphony, the tech, NCCJ, Santa Clara University, where he was not only a graduate, but also, along with Joan, was granted an honorary degree, a doctorate for goodness and leadership and philanthropy. He was also chairman of the Markle Center for Applied Ethics, where he made such an impact. Ethics were at the very core of Mike's being. Mike, for years, was a great supporter of PAC. He would talk about how PAC provides the best return on investment he could ever make. 
for the small staff leveraging the energy and skills of hundreds of volunteers to create positive change that improves the lives of so many in our community. He loved the idea of teaching people how to fish, <clears throat> how to advocate for themselves, not just giving them a fish. And he had a keen interest in PAC's uh, work to improve the public schools, given his passion for helping children. Mike walked humbly with the luminaries of Silicon Valley, and he was the brightest light. He did not hesitate to call upon his friends for, for a cause, but always <clears throat> cautioned that if it didn't turn on your DNA, don't get involved. If Mike cared about it, he was dedicated. I was there when Mike, extended his when Mike attended his last board meeting via uh, iPad camera from his home, his sickbed, for the Palo Alto Medical Foundation board. Mike died well, albeit too soon, surrounded by his loved ones. In closing, I would like to say, Mike, we love you, we miss you, and you will live forever in the memories of Joan and your family and so many friends and Mary Ellen and me. Thank you.